Hello, Black Lisa Me. This is Leanne Stanfield, and uh, you can find me at ParisianFrench.com. Tonight, I would like to uh, tell you about uh, the love languages and uh, why French is not one. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is because um, there is a confusion out there um, uh, where people think that French is a love language. And um, in fact, French is considered to be the, lang uh, the language of love. But there are love languages and they are five. There are five love languages, which if you know what they are, which, one they want, which ones they are, and uh, how they are for you, because everybody has them differently, uh, then it would help you a lot in all the relationships, uh, either rom whether romantic relationships, business, uh, personal, um, and bus every single type of, of relationships, because they're not just personal and uh, business, there are like m many more types of relationships with your parents, with your children. Uh, so, so, so important to know the love language is your own as well as the languages of the people that you're talking to or, or you connect with. And um, the reason um, why they are important for French is that they also are very important to be known uh, in any educational uh, avenue. Meaning, when you have teachers, um, the teachers would be very, I mean, they would be very well equipped if uh, they would know your love languages because they will know how to motivate you, how to reward you in order for you to strive to get many more results organically rather than pushing yourself. Um, it's so important. So, the five love languages are a physical touch quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, and receiving gifts. So, for instance, let's imagine that you are in a French school, French class, and you got a good result in a quiz. And so your teacher gives you, um, I don't know, one of those little stickers, um, and you collect them, like they do for, for children, they do like in many places. That would work very, very well, will motivate you very, very much if your love language would be, the dominant love language would be receiving gifts. But if your dominant love language would be quality time, for instance, that wouldn't work for you. But what would work if you had quality time would be if you, your teacher would take uh, so a few minutes to actually talk with you and uh, just connect with you uh, with like, you know, a few minutes of quality time, uh, that would be much more important uh, for you, motivate you more and push you to get better results. Um, someone, for instance, who has physical touch as the dominant love language um, would be greatly motivated if they would get a pat on the back uh, from a teacher or uh, from their partner or from their um, parent or their kid or someone, right, a friend, if they get a hug. Uh, that is how that person is going to feel much more loved as well as motivated to uh, continue doing what they were doing uh, that um, made them receive that particular uh, recognition. Um, so it's, that's what's so important about these love languages. There is a place uh, where you can find a quiz where you can find out what, you are, what are your love languages. And it's so important to actually know. I actually had a little bit of a surprise. Uh, many people have one dominant love language. Most people really have two love languages that would um, sometimes uh, swap as like the most, like the dominant or the second dominant, and the rest will be lower. Um, so it's good to know uh, for yourself. Uh, because in a relationship, for instance, you can tell your partner, I would prefer that you hugged me or, you know, uh, when I don't feel well, for instance, right? Or I would prefer that you spend some quality time with me when I don't feel quite settled. So it's so important in communication relationships as well as in learning. Uh, if uh, 
I do this te test with everybody, uh, this quiz with um, everybody who register for my intensive program. And so that I know um, how to encourage and reward good results so that people know how to uh, know to continue um, uh, doing what they were doing. Not that, I mean, of course, with an adult, it's much easier to, to tell them, but know that our conscious mind is very limited. Um, most, most of our behavior is run uh, by our subconscious mind. So these love languages um, actually access the subconscious mind, which uh, is a, a connection, a, a communication and connection at a much deeper level. Uh, without words uh, or sometimes with words if it's needed but the specific way to connect with someone and and so that's going to help you learn French faster so I'm going to t I'm talking much more and much more in depth about this and about many many more other uh, things related to French and how knowing the la French language and culture makes you a much more romantic person and uh, attracts for you romance in your life if that is what you're looking for then uh, please go into the group and uh, you'll find out uh, how to get access to my interview because I'm going to give an interview uh, during the summit we are seven experts uh, invited and uh, I'm one of them I'm very pr um, humbled to be part of this fantastic group uh, it is called love and neuroscience and I'm a part of it, I'm um, talking about languages and culture. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. And I, um, stay on your game and don't ever give up on your dream to become bilingual. Learn to speak Parisian, French, and break your language barrier. Merci beaucoup et à demain. Au revoir.